It is customary to stand and face the flag to reaffirm your allegiance to the United States for the freedoms and privileges you experience every day. Please respectfully stand as we recite the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey Eastview, I'm Victoria Justice and you're watching The Forecast. You're watching another edition of The Forecast. I'm Lucas. And I'm Chris. Today on The Forecast, we will deliver your daily announcements, a recap of the girls hockey game last night, and our EV3 featuring the top three events of the past week at Eastview. It'll be interesting to hear those top three events. Anyway, here are your announcements. Seniors, if you're interested in acquiring wireless network access for your laptop, tablet, or PDA to support your learning, please attend an informational meeting before school in the theater on Thursday, February 7th. Junior students who applied for DP, letters will be available for pickup in the main office after today after six hour. Stop by to get your letter. The 9A boys basketball team improved their overall record to 10 and 8 with a one point victory over Lakeville North Thursday night. The Lightning made eight three pointers in the first half. The boys varsity hockey team is celebrating Senior Appreciation Day on Saturday, February 2nd. Come out to watch the number 18th ranked Lightning take on number 15th ranked Bloomington Jefferson at 215 at the Apple Valley High School. Please come out to join us for what should be a classic South Suburban League matchup. Girls varsity hockey team took on crosstown rival Apple Valley last night at the Sports Center. Megan and Lauren have the recap. Last night, the girls varsity hockey team took on crosstown rivals Apple Valley in a tough match. Liz Palmy scored the first goal of the game in the second period with an assist from Kelly McGann. The Lightning fought hard playing a pretty physical game, but fell in the end to a strong Apple Valley team with a final score of 3-1. Be sure to come out and support the girls at home this Saturday night at 7 p.m. as they take on Bloomington Jefferson. The Lightning outshot the Eagles 19-7 in the third period, but Apple Valley scored the only goals. Saturday is senior night. Come out and cheer on the Lightning. The junior varsity girls hockey team reversed their fortune Thursday night with a decisive 4-1 win over the Apple Valley Eagles and the coveted skate trophy. Congratulations to the varsity alpine ski team. Both the boys and girls teams are South Suburban Conference champions for the first time ever. The boys maintained their lead from last week and won the combined meet with top performances by Luke Doolittle, Parker Zelen, Carl Nordmeyer, Andrew Mikulski, and Scotty Pugmeyer. The girls fought back from last week's second place and also took home the championship with top finishes by Claire Hefko, Sydney Anderson, and Gwen Nelson. Awesome team effort. Let's keep it going for state sections next week. And here is this week's EV3. Hey Eastview, it's Friday, and that means that it's time for another EV3. Coming in at number three, congratulations to the cast and crew of Eastview's one-act play on their section championship yesterday. They now move on to the State Festival at St. Kate's. At number two, the EVHS girls basketball team extinguished the blaze on Tuesday with a score of 77 to 39. Come out and support the girls tonight as they take on Lakeville North at home. And wrapping things up with number one, Eastview's annual NHS dodgeball tournament was held on Sunday. Big thanks to all those who came and donated to help the cause. That's it for today. Make sure you stay tuned next week for another EV3. Rock climbers will be meeting on February 5th after school in room A200. We will be discussing the next climbing session and will also have information on our outdoor trip to Taylor's Falls in April. Auditions for Eastview's 2013 production of Bravo will be held on February 4th and 5th for the chorus and on February 20th for dance. Sign up in the main office. Well, that's it for today, Eastview. We hope everyone has a great weekend. Stay warm. The spring is only a month and a half away. I'm looking forward to that. Same here. See ya. Bye.